بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته When you see people competing, running, when you look at sprinters approaching the end line, you see that they give all what they have because this is the final moment. This is what makes it or breaks it. Tonight, we have the same feeling. These are the 10 blessed nights, the last 10 blessed nights of Ramadan. Whenever they started, the Prophet ﷺ used to change his entire system. He, as Mother Aisha and others say, used to tighten his waist wrapper. And this is a metaphor for not having intercourse with his wives. And some say, no, this is also a metaphor for wanting to do hard labor and to work. This is what you do when you want to do that. And he, w he used to wake up his wives. Normal nights, he would pray night prayer on their own. They want to pray. It's okay. They, don't, they want to sleep. This is their preference. It's not mandatory. But on the last 10 nights of Ramadan, he used to wake all of his wives and he used to spend the night time in prayers, reading the Quran. During these blessed 10 nights, it was a sunnah from the Prophet ﷺ to perform i'tikaf. And now, unfortunately, with the lockdown, May Allah Azza wa Jal uplift it from the whole world. We are unable to perform i'tikaf in the masjids. So many people ask, can we perform it in the houses? And the answer is no, this is not permissible. It cannot be performed in prayer halls or in homes. It has to be performed in masjids. And the etiquettes of i'tikaf are so many, but this is not the time to talk about it. We would like to focus on the last 10 nights. Why are they so blessed? What is so special about them? Scholars say that during these blessed last 10 nights of Ramadan, there is a single night. And this is why we strive to worship Allah and excel in these last 10 blessed nights, not because of the last 10 nights, but rather because we don't know which night of them is this glorious night known as Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree. And this beautiful night, Allah Azza wa Jal, has favored with a number of things among them. This is the blessed night that the Quran was revealed in, as mentioned in the Quran. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. We have revealed the Quran in Laylatul Qadr. And Ibn Abbas says, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, that the Quran came from the preserved tablet to Baytul Izzah, to the house of pride and honor. And then from there, it came over the different occasions, over the period of 23 years. This blessed night, the angels descend in a lot of numbers due to its barakah, due to its blessing. As we know the angels descend whenever there is dhikr, whenever there is recitation of the Qur'an. This is a blessed, safe night where the devils can't do evil and can't harm people as they used to in other nights. In this 
blessed night, there is less torment and punishment and a lot of reward and safety because of what individuals offer to get closer to Allah and to seek His forgiveness. In this blessed night, Allah Azza wa Jal divides the provisions for His creation for a whole year. So everything is divided, coming down from the preserved tablet to the angels so that it would be given to the people. Among the blessings of this blessed night is what the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam. He said, here comes a month, the month of Ramadan, which Allah has obliged upon you to fast. In it, the gates of the heavens are open, and the gates of hell are closed, and the masters of the jinn and the devils are chained. In this month, there is a night better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived from its goodness, he is deprived from anything that is good. So this night, you should look for. The Prophet said, whoever prays the night of Qadr, believing in the believing in it and anticipating the reward from Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah would forgive all of his sins. Subhanallah. So why was this night hidden? Well, this night was hidden so that people would do their level best in seeking it and trying to find out which night it is. The Prophet ﷺ told us that we should look for it in the odd nights. And in another hadith, he told us that to look for it for nine nights left, seven nights left, five nights left, three nights left, etc. But scholars say we do not know nine nights left unless the month is over, because the month can be 29 and it can be 30. So nine nights left is different when it's 29 than nine nights left when it's 30. And therefore, it is not true that people think that it has to be the night of the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, and 29th. This is not true. It can also be the night of the 22nd, 4th, 6th, 8th. Therefore, one has to devote his time to worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal in the whole last 10 nights. Doing what? Night prayer. Option number one, the best and the highest. So you spend two hours, three hours, five hours holding the Quran, reading from it, praying to Allah Azza wa Jal. This is what the Prophet used to do and the companions. Option two, recite the Quran without prayer. Option three, make a lot of dua. If you go to chapter two, Surah Al-Baqarah, you will find verses about fasting Ramadan and how it is when a person is sick or, un or traveling, when to make it up, etc. And then you find verses about i'tikaf and when to refrain from eating and drinking, etc. So these are all connected about fasting. Ramadan, there's a one ayah that comes in between dividing these and it is about dua. When my servants ask you about me, say that I'm close. I answer the dua of people who call upon to me. So devote a lot of time for dua. Mother Aisha, the dua she learned from the Prophet Allahumma inna ka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. So you repeat that and you make whatever dua you want. Fourthly, 
you got tired from praying, from reciting Quran, from making dua, make dhikr. The best of dhikr, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar, la ilaha illallah. It doesn't matter which one you begin with. You want something else, listen to a beneficial lecture that gets you closer to Allah, that softens your heart. Do whatever you can to reach Allah Azza wa Jal. And finally, this hadith or story circulating among the people that every night of Ram the last 10 nights of Ramadan give one dollar because this is better than 83,000 whatever they have this calculation and pray two rak'ahs because this is better than this and that and call your next of kin, uh, feed a poor person. All of this is baseless and not true. These, oh, this night is better than t a thousand month better but it doesn't say that your good deeds would be multiplied accordingly. It is better and we should leave it as it is. What did the Prophet used to do, والسلام, What you have heard from prayers, reciting Quran, making dhikr, making dua, and any good deeds that you can afford. I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that he makes me and you among those who win because whoever is deprived from its goodness, he is by Allah deprived from all types of good. Hada wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.